should expect price increases as the benchmark value policy reversal takes effect. Now, some players in the manufacturing sector, however, say the reversal of the policy would augur well in the long term in boosting the local economy. Importers of vehicles and other items will now pay a minimum of 30% more on duties for the items they clear at the Tema and the Takra Deport. Some experts say the reversal could lead to price increases. But a manufacturer and member of the Association of Ghana Industries, the AGI, Kwame Uyafe, says the impact of the benchmark value reversal will, among other things, reduce cost and increase capacity for the sector. The benchmark will now enable those that we already have existing capacity for us to now operate full capacity. And full capacity operation will lead to cost reduction for everybody in manufacturing the bigger your base, the lower the cost. Uh, so those of us in manufacturing are obviously going to uh, take some of, absorb some of the possible price increase. But there is likely to be a little that may be passed on to the consumer. According to the Chief Executive Officer of the AGI, Seth Chumakwabwa, with the Africa Continental Free Trade in place, local industry's capacity must be boosted to prevent imported goods from overtaking the local market. For products that we don't have the capacity to produce and we are not producing them here, if government decides that the duty on it should even be zero in order to make it cheap for its citizenry, we have no problem with that. But products that we have local capacity and we have adequate and enough capacity to produce, why should you reduce the benchmark values and make the imports cheaper? And let's now take it to the banking sector. As the Bank of Ghana says, it will auction $450 million in the first quarter of the year to help strengthen the performance of the city against the dollar. In an announcement to all authorized foreign exchange dealing banks, the central bank noted that the auction calendar for foreign exchange forward auctions will be held in the first quarter of the year. 